Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal with me, Matthew Caddis, aka Puggy. So, we're going to go through the airlock today, and this was really annoying for me in the vanilla Persona 5. Not so much in Royal because, um, firstly, I've already done this thing, and um, we'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. And I love that quote from Futaba. Seriously, I love that quote from Futaba. That's why I love her so much as a character. Anyway, the main gimmick with the airlocks is that um, it um, huh? basically Joker and Co. Um, will have to go through all of these airlocks. The problem is, is that it is a puzzle-based sort of system. So what will happen is that if one airlock close, another one Shadow will Adele. open and vice versa. And that is the way the puzzle Show sort of works. Form. There are also shadows going around here, so I do want to get rid of them first, if you know what I mean. Well, you know, we actually have some new ones here. Uh, starting with... Um, Dark Sun. Okay. It's more like a moon to me, but never mind. We can psychokinesis, so we'll use that. Don't know what those... Um, Okay, those ones we have seen before. Kai Wan. Thunderbird. Yeah, I don't think you belong to International Rescue, mate. Seriously. Um, as for Kai Wan, it's weak against nukes. So I'm going to have to switch to a um, persona that does have uh, some of the uh, nuclear attacks. I don't think I have them, so I may well have to switch out one of my parties. So uh, let's switch to Bakoto and have her do it. Um, I guess I still have her in my party, so yes. Charge Johanna, etc, etc. Okay, so let's uh, try and um, bring in um, uh, Dark Sun here. Big basic answers, okay. Uh, criminal act, um, I guess. Um, okay, that's not big. I mean, it's actually the truth. You don't hear me? Um, is that so? Indeed. Oh, I see. Yeah, we'll go with that. And there we go, we've got Mitras. So yes, and yes, it is pronounced Mitras because that's how, certainly how Xander Morbus pronounces it when we switch to it. What little dialogue he's given as a, pro, um, as a main protagonist in the game. But yeah, okay, so we have Princess Fortune Empress. I will not be getting, uh, con um, continuing the Empress Arcana, so yeah. So the Priestess, there may well still be a bit left, but yeah. <laughs> still funny! Mona bumping his head on the thing! And what's weird, Mona's like, I don't hear him um, meow from Mona. <laughs> but uh, never mind, I'm, I can just imagine Cassandra Lee Morris doing so. And that being said, yeah, nice little rule back there from Joker. Okay, more of these guys. We've seen them in exact same order as well. Grown. Okay, then we're back. So, uh, you'll see here that um, that uh, airlock had an A on it. That's important for a later. Because now it becomes inactive and the other one opens. Um, that's what, uh, that A means alpha, the other one is omega. I know that much, so yes, those are Greek letters, so yes, um, apparently, um, which kind of reminds me of, uh, uh say, Ukumura's, um, Kunikazu Ukumura, not Haru Ukumura, um, ambition to, um, to enter politics as that to rise to the heavens, so, yeah, if you remember in the Bible, because I need to be a Christian, um, one of the things that God refers to himself as as the Alpha and the Omega, so kind of fits actually. And why not? We get to see Futaba's brilliant ending after all. Seriously, I don't tire anything, and it's just done in such a moony tunes this way. Seriously, the only thing that's different is that if, if the bomb would actually explode in Futaba's face, at least, um, let's not go any further than that. Seriously. But, yeah, it does remind me of the Looney Tunes, seriously. Maybe another cartoon, I don't know. Maybe a goofy cartoon or something like that. Anyway, let's go in here, and this is what tripped me up before, because we have three uh, doors here. But now I am just going to explore before I get to this thing. This switch here um, actually uh, switches the thing. 
However, it can get in your way here. Um, it's also the only way, to, uh, by using one of these switches, to um, get to the will seed. Um, you will probably have to consult your map, because this can be very confusing. It was for me when I was playing um, Vanilla Persona 5, as you will see, because I went through that airlock and the alpha one... The, uh, the Omega ones are open, the uh, Alpha ones are closed. So basically, yeah, and vice versa if you pull the switch again. So do we have access to the... Um, will Seed? I don't know if that's the... Actually, I don't think that's the Will Seed, sorry. But yeah, it's one of the ways you can get the Will Seed. I don't know if it's in this area or the next one, but yeah. Uh, the areas we have not been to... Uh, are outlined in black. Uh, no, in red, sorry, not in black, sorry. So, um, that being said, yeah. There is, I believe there is another switch in this room. Indeed, there is on the right hand side. So, let's see. Do I want to go straight ahead? Yes, I do, because there is another shadow there. Um, there is another um, airlock door over there to the left, but I'm gonna go this way this time and get rid of that Dalek ripoff in the corner. And then let's see, is this a new shadow or is this one we faced before? Um, Thunderbirds. Okay, then that being said, let's go through here and um, go through the airlock this way. Um, so yeah, this one is another Omega one, so that one's open then. I don't know if this switch or not. I'm not gonna even do anything yet with- oh, maybe I am, I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet, so... Okay, pulling this one activates the Alpha ones, so... Um, yeah. So, let's see. We still have a way through down there towards the, our goal. However, um, I may well pull another switch a bit later. But that was the only way to open that door. Uh, so, yeah. So now we can go um, literally south. Um, another shadow there. What's this one then? There we go. Another Kaiwan or Thunderbird. Well, sort of, yes. And two Mutruses as well. Okay, so um, let's go down this corridor. And that will lead us down here to another treasure chest, which I will gladly open. Okay, what's in this one? Bomb of life! That will be good for later, I think. And yeah, this one's open as well. This will take us towards our goal. Uh, will we get anything here? I don't know. Now, we now have uh, one alpha door that's open and one that isn't. We'll get into that a bit later, but this lift will take us further. Yeah, I guess it was easy, but uh, wait until we get further in. Oh, boy. This will take us to weapon production, at least. So, yeah. And in this room... Well, um, let's have a look. You can see over there a bunch of cylinders. Hmm. What are they using them for? Come on, man. Oh. Yeah, well, we can't do much about that, Ryuji. Seriously. Not until we get send the calling card. And I still want to get the last will see before we do so. There's another safe room here. Uh, and there's also another treasure chest requiring a lockpick here. So indeed, let's open it. Maybe it will give us another weapon. We only got one for Haru and the unit of space ball. What would a space ball do? Um, like a space hopper? Oh, those those were things from the 90s. Those were absolutely huge. Seriously, I think you can still buy them online, so yeah. Certainly on eBay or Amazon. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to save the game. And then we will go on to the next area, which is, of course, um, where the treasure is. Yes, I am not going back through the airlock puzzle, which actually was a lot easier in, um, dare I say, it, Persona 5 Royal than it was in um, vanilla Persona 5. So, yeah. I haven't found any information about the mental collapses. That bothers me. Oh yeah, you're right. Maybe he's hiding it. Got this far. Wouldn't it be better to just squeeze the truth out of the guy? That plan is fine by me. Let's send out the calling card and take his treasure then. You can decide when we do so. Mm. Oh, honestly. 
quickly. Come inside. We've much to discuss. There you are, inmate! Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It requires the cooperation of phantom thieves undergoing the same ordeal in other worlds. It's a special fusion called Public Execution. This is a helpful ritual where you select a persona from another phantom thieves group and fuse them for your own usage. We've heard that there are special powers for personas that are only attainable with this fusion method. Basically, whether or not you make good use of it is up to you. You better devote yourself, inmate! The development of rituals is now complete, but your rehabilitation shall continue onward. Put your best effort forth toward that ultimate goal.